Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest beta channel inside a preview build, 22635.4950, which was made available with the most recent update for that flight KB5052078. Now, just a quick overview as to the two new features that did roll out in that beta channel build last week. And the first is... Microsoft says sharing files in Windows is getting a lot easier and quicker with its new drag tray feature. And this was a feature I posted on when it was still a hidden feature and has now made its way into official testing in the beta channel. So as you can see, when you start dragging a local file with your mouse or touch from File Explorer or your desktop, a tray appears at the top of your screen which allows you to drop the file into one of the displayed apps or you can choose the more menu, which is that little three dotted overflow menu to open the window share window. And I actually think this is a nice move. And the next new feature is something I have posted on previously on the channel where we are getting a new grid layout for the start menu and also a new categories layout for the start menu, which looks very similar to the live tiles over on Windows 10. So Microsoft says they are introducing two new views to the all page. As mentioned, first your grid and then your category. And the grid list view shows your apps in alphabetical order. And the category view groups all your apps into categories ordered by usage. And just take note though, this is gradually rolling out uh, to the beta channel insiders. And I have posted a more in-depth video on this feature where we had a closer look at the new start menu layouts. So go check that out for more info. So that means we get three options now and we'll be getting three options for the start menu. We will get our traditional all apps list, then the new name grid as we can see, and then the categories option. So looks like we are going to have a couple of options for the start menu. And this can all be changed here at the top in this little fly out menu. So those are the two new features that rolled out um, in the beta channel for last week. And over and above that, we get a couple of under the hood fixes and a couple of known issues because the beta channel is still a preview build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.